It's Tristan from Hippies for Humanity here. We're uh, hiking through Francis Slocum State Park today and um, seeing what we could find. It's April 10th today. Um, I do have uh, this guy with me. Yeah, so he'll be making an appearance throughout. Here we have some mushrooms on a tree. Super cool. Some more mushrooms down at the bottom. Super cool. Uh, don't exactly know what I'm looking at, but I'm looking at something. Who knows? Alright, so we got some Ganoderma aplanatum here. Also known as Artist's Conch. Beautiful white porous underside that uh, it's called Artist's Conch. Wow, cool. Because you can draw on it, you can carve it with knives, you could burn it. I just burned one of these myself with a uh, soldering iron, made a little design on it. And uh, so that's what we got there. Got the spring peepers out. Full force. Some stuff growing down here by the water. I know this over here, I believe, is skunk cabbage. Maybe it all is. Some out there. Too cool. What's up, yo? Alright, this whole log is covered in tinder conch. They all fell off of this tree over here. These are all old. You can see there's holes in them. Because while they're decomposing the wood, bugs will de get inside them and decompose them. Decompose. A whole bunch of decomposing, eating and rotting of everything, but this log is covered in them. And then I did see some turkey tail as well. Hanging off here, just one little, one shelf of them. But, you know, got some colors on them. Pretty cool, pretty cool, right Tom? Are they cool? Yes, you sir. You tired? <laughs> Never did this work out before. Yeah, we got some uh, fresh turkey tail here. So, uh, as you can see, white underneath. Maybe a little, little off white, but that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and pick it all from the tree here and take it home and steep it into a tea. And then, uh, you know, we won't get cancer. Look at all this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. All right, here's Tony. There's skunk cabbage. Tony, get down. Okay. And I just want you to grab the leaf, rip the leaf, and then smell it. Grab it. Okay, so we gotta get down here. So we grab the leaf right here, everybody. Yep, just tear it in half. Smell that. Ooh. What's it smell like? Skunk. Wow. I really ripped abs, Kelowna, and now my freaking hand smells like uh, skunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, I don't even smell my hand anymore, bro. Yo. Uh -huh. oh, my. oh, yo, where's my glove at, dude? <laughs> Some dirt yeah, on that shit. Classic. Burl, burl, burl. Burl is the word. That was lame. Lame as shit. Look at these burls, man. There's some on that tree. There's a ton just over here. Got one there. One there. Big one there. Some more right there, and on down right there. Wow, that's probably worth a lot of money, that one out there. Let's go get a closer look. That is a giant burl. I think this tree is dead. Oh, man. Yo, you got your ball with you? Shit, uh, it was on my property, I would take it down. Cut that thing and sell it. 
pretty big. It's another big one right up here. And another dead tree. Pretty crazy. Big burls. Okay. Um, this may be my first finding of chaga. I've said that many times, but this time it's actually a birch tree. And it's right here so I can get a good look. Very small, but I... It's like the appropriate color. Black on the outside, brown on the inside. So I found this birch polypore growing dead birch. Unfortunately, I, I wasn't able to get my camera out, but I saw a bird, a hawk or something. He might still be there. That might be him. Oh man, I thought he flew away. He was hovering. And then he went, dipped down. And you, know, you hear, and you heard a nice, nice splash. He went fishing. This is a little birch polypore with a lighter brown here. So a little more fresh than the ones that I ate the other day. Maybe if I could find some more, I could make some more tea today. I did collect those turkey tails, so maybe I could do a turkey tail birch polypore tea. Ooh. Sounds good. I do see some more birch polypores actually right there on that tree. And I think somewhere on this tree too. I found a lot of birch around where I am. That chaga was back up that way or so. So crazy.